Hey guys! Hello! Um, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> so, uh, Niels, or TRC underscore WM on Twitter, suggested that uh, instead of using my germanium diodes for the bridge rectifier that we did last week, that I use them to make a radio frequency probe, or RF probe. And it's an unusually simple circuit, um, which I of course borked. Uh, bork, 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 yep, bork, which I can bork. show you here. And um, anyway, so after fixing it, what it does is it tells you if essentially you have oscillations um, in a given point on your circuit, and that's this can be done with a multimeter instead of an oscilloscope. So if you don't have an oscilloscope, no problems. You can. Uh, use your multimeter and the simple little circuit to see if you've got RF. All right, how's it work? Um, I'm guessing that uh, circuit board there is a uh, a transmitter. So yeah, this is a FM transmitter bug that we were given by John S underscore AZ, and it's attached to a nine volt. Um, we have here just uh, what Brainwagon called a low pass filter. It's a, a capacitor and a uh, resistor, and between that is a germanium diode, and the germanium diode is connected to ground. From ground we go to the ground port or the negative terminal on the FM transmitter bug, and the um, positive port, I guess the, the, the circuit, or er, the RF that we're looking for is coming from the antenna going to um, the circuit. And uh, I see you have a multimeter out here. Yep. Where do we tap into this circuit to uh, be able to detect? Actually, um, so we tap into the, uh, like I just said, the ground goes to the negative terminal of the battery and the positive. Okay, so your ground probe as well. Yeah. I see. Oh, I, I see what you mean. Yeah. So one end goes to the diode, and then the ground side of the diode, and one end goes to the resistor. So and let me flip that. I actually had to fix another mistake. <laughs> so um, when we look here, we see that there's about, well, there is I'm RF. I'm seeing 177 milliamps. Mm -hmm. Yep. That is correct. And that's just from the uh, radio frequency coming out of that transmitter is being rectified and turned into a DC voltage by that circuit. Correct. And exactly. it's just a simple little low pass with a diode in it. Yep. That is very interesting. Yep. And what I could do is I could adjust the capacitor here because there's a tuning capacitor to optimize the amount of voltage so you can actually optimize your RF transmissions. Ah. Yep. Well, and thanks that, for that, uh... showing that to us. Mm -hmm. Yep. I will find that circuit useful, actually. Cool. It's really simple. Yeah. As long as you don't mess it up like me. <laughs> All right. So, um, thanks for watching, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, pay attention. Later today, we're going to release uh, the the first. Uh, sponsored edition of First Spin. Correct. At firstspin.tv. All right. Uh, we'll be back Thursday or well, Thursday with Zombie Tech and Friday with another <laughs> video. And I'm going to update you guys on what you just watched this video through. <laughs> but until then, that's all a secret. Yep. See you guys later. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.